for the love of RGB. Because y'all know we got to have the RGB. Lights, camera, action. This is how it currently looks. You guys remember, I got the UFO engine sitting over there, my monitor and keyboard and all that stuff. And then I have like this area over here that's like super cluttered, but I'm working on it. Hold on. It still works. See? There we go. See, it's full of stuff, right? All of my tools. And then over here, we are going to clear it out and we're going to put some mirrors and stuff in place and we're going to completely change the room up so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a before and after look so this is bef this is what it looks like now I just thought you guys would like to see an update um, it's a work in progress I went ahead and got the computer put over here what I did is I got these these padded double-sided uh, sticky things and I went ahead and applied them to the four corners of it and I'm going to apply this one to down there and what I did is let's go over here I got these little wooden blocks and they're going to sit down like that and then I'm going to lay the chassis down and then these foam that are on the frame will sit on top of the foam on top of the wooden blocks so it doesn't hurt the the frame or the metal in any way but I just kind of wanted to give you you guys an, an update of what it was that I was doing so yeah I gotta move that next alright an update so you guys see that back wall right well I found something on the side of the road today and I'm going to cut it up and make shelving for that back side there so I can start putting tools and things and other stuff like that because we got the computer sitting over here now and my setups like this but I'm not done yet so let's go outside and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so I found this beauty on the side of the road someone decided that they didn't want it and that they were going to throw it out so I was like, oh man, I mean, look at it. It's good wood. See, it has a good thickness. It ain't cracked or rotted or nothing. Um, and yeah, I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of that. But I want the length of it, okay, because it's real long. And then I'm going to use these, all right, these, uh, the shelving. And I'm going to use that for shelving. So, pretty cool, right? Found this on the side of the road. We're going to make use for it. So I wanted to incorporate lights on this side of the desk. So what I did is I took some cardboard angles and cut them in half and then put them up there so that way I can run my lights. You see that? And it just kind of, and I think what I'll do is I'll paint that so it blends in a little bit better. And then that way I'll have lights for this area because we're starting to get it where we want it so I mean it's coming along finally you see I got the backboard installed y'all can see that big black board right there yeah that's what I just installed and now I'm working on the lights and getting it going so one step at a time so I got the light to work now what we're doing is we're installing these brackets here as you can see I went ahead and got one installed and I'm using the leveler uh, but we're going to install a shelf to sit right in there and hopefully we can get some of this mess clean up because my room is messy but that's okay because it's going to look great once I get it done I mean all this stuff everywhere jeez computer components everywhere but I'm I think it's gonna look good once we're done guys 
I'm really impressed with the way that light came out. That just looks great. And we're gonna we're gonna remove the microphones too. That's that's gonna be put in a different spot too. Alright. Well I got the shelf and saw. So let's keep on going what we were doing, boys and girls. So I want to paint this power strip so it'll match, but I don't want any paint to get into the electronics. So what I did is I, I masked it off and then I took a razor so that way I can pull this and everything else will be exposed like that. And when I paint it, see everything else will get paint except for the ports because now they have tape over them and then I need to cover the switch too. But I want to paint it so that way it'll match but you can't get no paint inside of the electrical components. That will not be good. So I just finished painting the power strip and I wanted to show you guys it so I'm pulling the masking off right now. So there it is. See that? Get a nice clean look and also that way there's nothing interfering, no paint with the power. So yeah, success. What it looks like now and this is what it looks like now. I finished. You guys like it? I think it looks good. Got everything organized and put back. I got all this set up the way I wanted it. All the tools and accessories and everything that I need to build and proceed just the way I wanted it after Let's see I got all laid out fans underneath and then I went with like a clean look. See that? Clean cable look. Well, I can't help that though. Those wires right there. That's the internet and stereo cable. I can't help hide that. I might be able to hide that one. But I try to make it as clean as possible. Also underneath it too. You see how I try to mount the uh, power supply up underneath. And then I ran all the wires up underneath to try to keep it as clean. I took everything out underneath the desk. 32-bit monster sitting there waiting for me. So, do you guys like the room a little bit more? It's definitely much cleaner looking. I am, I'm extremely happy with it. And I like how I have everything set up now. I got the UFO engine, monitors, everything's nice and neat and tidy. I have access to everything I need, my drills, grinder, soldering iron, you know, heat guns and meters, there's all kinds of individual fans and adapters and tools, and then if you get over here you have motherboard and CPU screws, SATA cables, Molex, fan switches, all that kind of stuff, and then it goes down into my actual tools with the mod mat on top of it. Uh, I took all of this that was on top off and I kind of made room for it and threw it away. The uh, activated carbon filter, that's all that's left of it right now. I am in the process of disassembling it. And yeah, the room is complete. I have been working on this for, I don't know guys, three days. Three days I've been working on this room. And it has been a pain in the butt. Let me tell you what. From, from pulling wires and power cables and power plugs and I had... I had electrical wires and extension cables ran all over this room and a lot of them I was like I don't even know 
what this goes to so I would just pull it up and then try to redo it the best I can I know it might be kind of hard to see underneath here but I try to make that as clean as possible I actually built this little wooden stand right there to hold the the two power strips to keep them off off the ground and then we cleaned up some of the mess back there and then right there is the only real bees wires nest that we had I mean before it was a big mess but now it don't look too bad so I am I'm happy with it you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you like the way that I have changed the room about I think it looks great and I love how the way the computer sits over here like that I think that just looks awesome awesome so yeah oh yeah check this out I built this mirror right and then I installed that mirror so that way you kind of get a side profile and a back profile of it with the two mirrors being there which I think looks definitely cool and then I got nice cold air being blown on me so yeah that's it it took me three days it took me three days to do it I'm finally done I'm excited that it's over with make sure you guys hit me up hit me a like drop it thank you so much if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button guys and as always you guys be cool and thank you for watching the channel and peace we'll catch you guys next time all right bye